Ooh, what's up, my name is Raider Jim here. As you can see, we are back. Oh, back to the future. Yeah, before you all get it, before you all get me. What's going on right now is part of the Minecraft stuff is not out yet. Instead of just waiting, depriving you guys, I'm just gonna give you another right back to the future finish the game. Well, uh, as it goes and all this with all the loud music, please calm your fucking tits music. Please calm your fucking tits and let and just go down. Damn it, music. Calm down. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ow. Hello? Marty, you're awake. Good. Fuck. Uh, yep. Damn it. Uh, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle yeah. of myself, he'd hit the roof. Probably. Uh... Why didn't you wake me up? I tried to give you a nudge before I left, but you were practically comatose. How long has it been since you slept? Aside from being knocked unconscious, I'm not really sure. Anyway... I left you back at the lab to perform an important mission. On the table next to my okay. law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh, I think I see it. I think I see is it. Is it glowing? Yeah. Is that yeah. good? Good? It's fantastic. Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the All high right. school and we'll... Damn. What? It's Edna. But... Okay, Emmett. One static accumulator well, coming up. Oh, jeez. And off we go. We get dropped right into doing stuff. Yeah. Jeez. Trying to jeez, fucking run me over. Watch out! You almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes I'm difficult sure to you control. are. Uh, yeah. Hey, Don't are give you me okay? that fucking look. After that argument about Emmett last night, I'm, I'm fine. fine. Thank you for asking. Eh. Uh, I'd be worried. Trust me, I'd be so worried. So, how are the time sleep. circuits? Still broken. I've got a few ideas, but I'm occupied with other problems today. So, is that what I'm destined to build for the expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And and some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Doc? God damn it, Doc. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc! It was science. No. You can't give up Doc. science. You love science. Correction. My you younger self loves science. But if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him mm. down another path. Damn it. Damn it, Doc. You Don't on Emmett do this, back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police yep. state. She used she my did. science to turn Hill Valley into a No, she state. used you. But if Not I don't science. become a scientist, she'll never get the chance to vent her crazier ambitions. Crazy's right. Ambitions, Even if you screw up Emmett's yeah. chances at the expo, there's no way he'll give up science now. He's too committed. Yep. You don't know me like I do. After he fails at the expo, he'll yeah, be thing. in need of comfort. And Edna's already arranged a romantic little trip up to the lake. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Stop. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated mm. without a time machine in it. No. Ah. Well, there goes that. What the hell? The hell's right. Where'd it go? I hear it. Where are you? I hear it floating. Come here. Ah, there you are. Oh, come on. Damn it. And like it knows. I'm not gonna hurt you, I swear. Just come here. Here, little static thingy. 
Gotcha. Son of a bitch! Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Gotcha! Ow! Get down here! I know what you're doing! Get down here! And I... I can't reach it. For it. Gotcha. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Please put me down. This is not a mechanical ball. Son of a bitch and thing. Make it right out like a mechanical ball. I fucking swear. I fucking swear. The future is coming. Today. Wait, 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 wait a second, Trixie. I way. thought you were not. A day of invention nah, is at hand. It's a mystic, futuristic wonderland. And there's Just an around the bench, my friend, you'll see a dream or two. If you care to dream uh, and dare to dream, boy. your dreams can all come true. There's a world of wondrous yeah. wonder on display. Yeah, no bad song, I can tell you that much. Please, stop today. singing. I'm trying to record here. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all, but I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. Say, don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Because the future is coming. It's yeah. almost here now. The future is coming. It's okay. getting clear now, the future is coming today! At least you got to say. That's good, she got to sing. Why do I have a bat? Oh, there's the bat feeling. There's the bat feeling! And here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective, but you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Crockett. Uh, what the fuck are you What's doing? What's going on here? Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think, uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty. Now. Bitch. Wait a minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was oh, you sorry. who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping Crazy my project bitch. in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. Uh, the electrokinetic levitator was Emmett's idea. I just helped. What's your point? Oh, yep. I think you know exactly what my point is. No, yeah, I don't. isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Sonny Crockett really is, and where he comes from. Is there something you want to uh -oh. tell me, Sonny? Uh. Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Smirnov. Thanks a lot, Doc. Really? An anarchist! A foreign agitator bent on sowing chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo! Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, oh. Yakov, but uh, I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. Come here. Mm. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. But she's been getting some yeah, fun in town ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends yeah. on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. And, well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Well, oh, that's gonna I'll be dig something up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better uh, 
Where is he, anyway? Wait, you haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Oh, you're letting him go? This radical subversive? Oh, uh, kiss Just my like ass, that? Edna. Kiss okay, my ass. So, I gotta find Emmett. And do something about Edna. Fucking crazy bitch. Dude. Uh, uh. A pipe, a pipe plant. <clears throat> Hi, Trixie. That's Techni to you, kiddo. Right. Whatever. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs yep. in the end, you know. Now, what can I do you for? Yep. Uh. <coughs> Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame yep. don't know how to mind her own business, does she? Nope. So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the Glass House, mm. the Future Furnishings, of and of course, Enlightenment Under the Sea. You know who that is under the, the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself. Jacques Cousteau, Plus, you mean? you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. Uh, How much are tickets? Yeah. Aw, put your money away. Here, you're kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. Really? Uh, okay, Thanks. Then? Happy to help. Hmm. Wait a second. I saw a pipe plant. Yeah, I was making sure now, I saw the pipe plant. Crazy bitch. Enlightenment awaits you under the sea. I see a potted plant. I've seen two. This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. Uh, had to get your top. Yeah, it would. Maybe. Ow. So I was sort of right. I saw a potted plant. Yeah, and whatnot. Okay, we are doing good. Uh, excuse a potted me. plant. What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tannen's speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. I know what I need to do. You saw nothing. <clears throat> okay. Greetings again, mortals. This is Techni, Muse of Progress. Hoping you're all having a swell mm. time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. All right. 
Mr. Whoever. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Set that in there. Okay, call me a snoop. There we go. Okay. okay we got that in. Now he's a. Aha. Okay. Over the future, back we go. Shut up. Okay. In the house of the future, fresh fruit baskets will be replenished daily it. by fleets of fruit-bearing helicopters. Ah, oh, it's nice. wax. Damn radio, shut up. I need to concentrate and you're not helping the situation in the least. Where is it? Radio! A Radio! A equipped home entertainment center. So, where's the ColecoVision? Yep. Damn it, turn the fucking radio off! Oh uh, boy. Okay. Come on. Damn it, quit. Son of a. Okay. I'll try this one. Uh, in the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in ah, the privacy of the there we go. phone helmet. Hey! Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Okay. Klondike 4253. Valley Expo, where the future is coming today. This is Checkney News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? Uh, hi, Trixie. It's me, Sonny. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I was just checking out this snazzy phone. Okay, bye. Bye. Conversation terminated. I'm trying to think. Oh. <sighs> In the mood for fun, the house of the future uh, comes equipped yep. with a modern home entertainment <coughs> Chinese checkers and <coughs> everything. Let's try this again. In the house of the future, <laughs> both completed <laughs> <of the future laughs> in the privacy of the personal phone yeah, yeah, yeah. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial. Say, hang up okay. to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Hill Valley Expo, Techni speaking. Who's this? Uh, we'll try. This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you yeah, want? Yeah, I'll try. Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. That's our hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. Uh, Mr. Let's Sagan, talk. I didn't expect to hear from you again till after the expo. You didn't? Yes. Wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our plan. How about that plan? Uh. Tell me about the plan. Regarding, uh, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that? As a matter of yep. fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? 
Uh, uh, pin what on him exactly? You know, it. Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh, yeah. That was the dog's fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away, and I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. Yep. She's the speakeasy arsonist. Carl, is somebody with you? No, it's just you and me. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Yep. Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their mm. doors serving illegal drinks and loose women, flaunting their depravity to the world, and the authorities did mm, nothing. Yep. So I did what any right-thinking, rock-willed woman would do. I took action. It get crazy! Oh, such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. The alcohol made them go up this in point she is crazy. flames. Uh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did yep. you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Hang up. What? Conversation terminated. Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's yep. good enough for Parker. It should be. Next up on Hopefully. our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in pond scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot. Thanks, Jexy. Uh, uh, thank you. I I'm truly honored to be here today among oh, all that the pointy-headed type people. Like the lady said, pointy-headed type people. In the field of pond scum. Oh, gee, ladies. In the field of pond scum. Little known biological entity. Oh, uh, let's go study. get this. Confession! No, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. Yep. Shall we? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's get this. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? Shut We're up. busy trying to protect the expo from the likes of you. This will only take a minute. comrade, I mind. Our plant recorder. It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Listen. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. D Detective Parker, <laughs> surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, and... I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Oh, very well. I... Heavens, what's that? You know, really? That's all I figured about. I should really stop falling for that. Hey, does this mean that the barricades can come down from Emmett's booth? Let's I'll take, take that, that as a yes. yes. Emmett's got to be around here somewhere. Thank you, Where Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very interesting. Huh. Yeah, I will be back interesting later to highlight another to of use. our fine exhibitors. See you soon. Yep. Yay! We're actually doing shit. Who's next? Who's next? Oh shit! There's all time for Emmett. 